Who are you talking to? Can you see my blue? Can you see it? Can you see it? Cause I can't see it with these shades. <laughs> Don't throw shade if it's not cute to you. Just be nice in the comments. What's up y'all, it's Takaya and you're tuning in to Kaya Roma. So as you see from the title, I'm going to be turning my locks blue today. I'll have it linked in the cards or down below where I turn my locks gold using the hair paint wax. Hair paint wax. Is that what it's called? Yes, hair paint wax. <laughs> in the shade gold and it gave me like a blonde Goldilocks vibe look. But now today, I'm going blue. I've already used this once, but I didn't film it. So this time I'm gonna film it and I hope y'all enjoy it. When I did the gold hair wax paint, I only did the top half of my hair, like my shorter layer. But this time I'm going all out, I'm doing the whole head. When I did it off camera, I only really rubbed it on my ends. Um, I'm gonna see what it looks like all over. I'm gonna put it one side. Only products I'm gonna need is obviously the hair paint wax and if you also seen that video that video is more so like a review I'm giving more detail on how I feel about the product so y'all should really go watch it but I said that it came with a few of them a little messed up in the packaging this is one of them as you can see there's a crack in the lid kind of nervous I, it shouldn't affect my finger but y'all i had a bonfire last night and i tried to you know do the fire adjust it and whatnot and get it started i know fire is in my forte but i still try to force myself to break my fear of fire and just face it but i always get burned now i have this horrible horrible burn on my finger it's really hard and callous in the inside it feels like i'm wearing a band-aid when I bend my finger. That's what I get. Like, me and fire just... Mm. This right here, I have to damp my hair again. I took a shower and my hair is pretty... It's a little damp. It's, my hair dries really fast. Honestly, it'd be thirsty. So it's not soaking wet or super damp either. But to use this product, your hair must be damp or wet or whatnot. So I'm gonna be spraying it with some water. This is rose water, actually. And I added some peppermint and tea tree oil in here. So I'm going to shake it up. Usually I'll have a little bit of jojoba oil or olive, or not olive, um, almond oil. But I didn't put any in there this time. So let's get her wet. Oh, first put my towel on. Now, I'm afraid my hair is getting longer, y'all. I need to start sitting further away. So you can see all these inches, okay? <laughs> Period. I keep getting told that my hair is getting longer and like I be trying not to get gassed about it, but I'm like, yay. But you know, it's cool, it's a good feeling. All right, now let's get her wet. And I put tea tree in here so it can smell nice and good. That's a fresh. I didn't wash my hair, I just wet it. Now one thing about this one, I did use it last time. It was harder, a lot harder to get out than the gold. Not super difficult, but it's like, I kept seeing baby blue water. So I did an ACV rinse and that helped. So I'm willing to do another one if I have to, if I really have to. Cause that was a while ago. Okay. Uh. Try not to use my burnt finger, but it's inevitable. And let's just rub it in there. Before I was trying to be all neat and stuff with it, but now I look you just want to rub it on because time. You can get time with zooming when really you just gotta rub it on. 
I try my best to just glaze it over and not really squeeze it in. I'm using a light hand. Even if you can't tell, it's pretty light. Now, I think I really do enjoy blue on my hair. If y'all have been following me for a while before my lock journey, then you would know that I had navy blue hair. Would it be cut because they're navy blue or royal blue, whichever blue. I had a similar blue to this with my straight and natural hair. And I remember in the beginning of my lock journey, people thought that my locks were um, molded and whatnot, and I needed an AC rinse when really it was the blue fading into like a gray color. So you can see some parts are like brighter on it than the other parts. And I'm trying to like rub it in consistently. <laughs> pieces that are oh wow i missed the whole lock now look at this inconsistent see how that whole side is dark and then this side is just patchy sitting on the top see it's difficult because i don't want to rub it in too hard like i don't be wanting to squeeze it in but i don't be wanting it to look like it's just sitting on top and i think that's where the water comes in good helps to blend it all so you want to make sure your hair is a nice amount of damp because it helps to blend it better. That looks good. Does it look natural, guys? Let me know. <laughs> Think about this for me is like it doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like it still looks good and it looks more natural when it's a little, you know, not too. I don't know how it feels. They all were just like coated in heavy, heavy blue. I like that it kind of looks like I've had this style for just a little bit, maybe a month, you know? Oh yeah, another, I guess it could have went unfortunate, but it wasn't really that unfortunate. I'm gonna tell y'all real quick. So I'm laying outside doing yoga, right? I'm laying outside on my mat, chilling, and I look up into the grass and I notice this, it's like hard to ignore. It's this fat white and black, zebra looking spiky caterpillar right so it caught my eyes just going on slow it's trying to i noticed it's trying to crawl up onto one of the tallest pieces of grass but it's too fat and heavy so it keeps on going right back down and he's just trying to get somewhere he's trying to get somewhere so i'm watching and i'm like dang this thing is so pretty like it's black and white i've never seen no caterpillar like this before and so i'm just looking at it and i was like yeah i'm gonna pick it up <laughs> and i picked it up and I just put it on my fingers, you know, and just put it on this finger and I let it walk, you know, and I put this finger to line it up and he went over here to the, he went on my hand a little bit and you know, I'm like, oh, it's so freaking cute. And <laughs> so I'm just looking at this caterpillar, just playing with it, trying to tap into what it's thinking, you know. I feel like I'm a, a Tony Baker, you know. <laughs> I like I love that he, he like uses the voices of animals or whatever because my mom used to do that all the time like she probably still do that but we'll just like look at an animal or even like a kid or a baby who don't talk and you're just trying to say what you think they're thinking you know so I was kind of you know trying to tap into my Tony Baker like what is this thing do thinking where he trying to go he trying to get to a tree or something next thing I know is I'm holding this caterpillar I hear Miley and Billy Ray Cyrus playing in my head talking about some how you wonder who you be <laughs> like literally that joke started playing in my head and i'm staring at this caterpillar oh it wants to be in a tree it wants to be in a tree <laughs> this song is still playing in my head as i get up and i carry this caterpillar to a tree i do i'm walking into the tree and billy ray cyrus is singing wish you may wish you might don't you worry, hold on tight. I promise you that there will come a day. Butterfly fly away. <laughs> that used to be my jam, okay? I love me some Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana the movie, you know, memories, childhood classic. So, yeah, I had a little moment with this butterfly. I'm like, butterfly fly away well it was a caterpillar but you know one day you know he'll be a, a caterpillar or a butterfly he or she whatever it was 
fast forward i go into the house and i was still mesmerized by this black and white caterpillar i'm like and just the type of person i am like i think i try to get a meaning out of everything sometimes not everything but like when i have a random encounter with animals or something like that i always try to look it up like what does that mean like you know kind of like you know if you see a black cat cross like not that superstitious but like Something like that, you know? I was interested in knowing what this butterfly or what this caterpillar was gonna look like as a butterfly. Like, what does a black and white caterpillar turn into? So I made my Google search and I was surprised to see that that was not a butterfly, okay? It was a tuscus, a tussock, I think the word is tussock, something with a T, moth. A fat, ugly moth is what that thing was. And guess what it said? If you see one of these, do not touch, do not it. touch it. Okay, it said don't touch the thing. And I'm over here playing with it, letting it crawl all on my hand. But it was basically saying that it was, um, it could give you an allergic reaction and it's irritating to human skin. Just something on the, the spikes, the mesmerizing coat that it has. And it will cause like a really bad rash on human skin. I ran to the sink so fast and I started scrubbing my hands. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with me? I'm trying to be god dang Tony Baker slash whoever on Discovery Channel <laughs> trying to rescue a caterpillar. And yeah, turns out that thing was a whole moth that was toxic to or harmful to human skin. But thankfully, I didn't get a rash. But I started getting paranoid, like, is my hand itchy? Like, hold on, wait a second. Did it leave some venom juice on my hands? Like, it was crazy. I'm like, wow. But yeah. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm like, just my luck. Me trying to be all in tune with the nature. I'm up here picking up poisonous animals, insects. But it was a beautiful moment nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? I had no fear. <laughs> no fear in my heart. Alright, I'm gonna spray the hands. Oh, you guys like my plants back there? Okay, my plant collection is growing. That's a calathea and that's like a rubber plant. Rubber something. I think it's just called a rubber plant, but it's, I know it's rubber something. But aren't they so cute? I love the Calatheas, or Calathea, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know how to say it for real. But, um, I like them because they like, they go up sometimes and sometimes they pray down, they call it like the praying plant. So like sometimes they point down, like the other day, just yesterday, they were standing straight up. I think it's so cool. It doesn't mean they're dying or anything, I think it's like has to do with the light. Get all this blue off my hand a little bit. Let's blend, blend, blend. Stop my head. Big scene. I think I feel like a rock star blue here. Friday night. Sleep all day. All night, baby mama. Oh, baby mama. Oh, baby mama. Oh, baby mama. <laughs> Ooh, dizzy. Tried to find some blue glasses. Since you know I had on glasses in the last one. I really wanted to do my makeup for this video, but at the same time, I don't feel like it. My skin's having a thing and I want to let her breathe. Got one right there, you feel me? She ain't having it. Don't throw shade if it's not cute to you. Just be nice in the comments. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, who texted me? 
And the dispensary said, we miss you here. Yeah, because I've been saving my money. Wish you may and wish you might. Don't you worry, hold on tight. I promise you that there will come a day. <laughs> Butterfly, fly away. <laughs> Closer to my destiny. Closer to the connection.